This is a video inventory for the next academic year students 2024 to 2025 for the property flat 2 62 Bar Street. Uh, I can confirm that all smoke alarms are working and the property has had a professional cleaning. And before we walk in, I'm just going to point out there's a few marks to the front door where the paint has chipped away just down here. All right, as we go in, focusing on the carpet, if I can get the camera to focus. See, there are no marks in the entryway, but there is a slight mark just outside the kitchen to the right here. The carpet is quite raised, uh, but there is no marking, no tears to the fabric. Before we go into the bedrooms, I'm just going to go into this uh, wardrobe outside bedroom number one. As you see by the door, there are no markings to the door, although the paint is a little bit chipped to the top there. So just opening this up, see there's a storage area. We have um, your vacuum, a couple of ironing boards and some uh, bits and bobs just in here. But no markings to the inside of the doors, in a good condition. So with that we're going to go into bedroom number one. Actually before we do, just make a note. Um, there are some very faint marks to the to the wardrobe door just there. Um, it's going into bedroom number one. I'm going to focus on the carpet first. So as we walk in, you can see it's raised, um, but no markings to the carpet in this room. Not under the bed or under the desk. If I pull this chair out, so you can see properly. no markings underneath. Um, I'm going to quickly start I think over at the bed. So as you can see from the bed base there is um, a few loose slats um, but the mattress itself is in a decent condition. You can see a few minor marks just here but otherwise the underneath of the mattress is in good condition. I'm just going to turn this over now and looking at the top, we can see that there are no marks to the top of the mattress. Go a long ways. Mattress is in good condition. I'm going to just focus on your end table over here. You can see it's slightly worn to the top. And there is a, uh, a little orange mark in the top drawer just there. And the paint is slightly raised and marked in the bottom drawer. There is also some minor scratching to the right side of the table as well, so bear that in mind. Looking at the walls, we can see uh, just over here, there are some sort of um, small marks to the wall by the end table, one by the door. Just some very light marks to the walls. Looking over by the wardrobe here, we can see uh, if we can focus it, that's a damp mark coming down the wall. There we go. Just down there. And some marking in the corner. And just running along the top here. So there are some marks of these walls. Okay, looking at your wardrobe. The wardrobe's in a good condition. You can see the landlord has taped the back of your wardrobe. I believe it came loose during the last tenancy. Um, and if we close this on up, we'll see there are no marks to the front of the wardrobe or to the side. And looking at your desk, there are some minor marks to it. We can see some chipping in the corner here, light marking going across. The same over here, just some light marks to the desk. It has been here for a few years, so bear that in mind. And as you can see, your window does open. Just close that now. To the right, in fact, before we do this, I'll show you your study chair. No marks to the front or the, um, the seating area of the study chair. And looking at the back, we see a few minor marks, see if I can get to focus here. Hmm. Come around this way. See just a few minor marks there. 
uh, but just wear and tear really in a great condition next to your desk you have another little table with no marks at the top or to the bottom uh, your waste bin and a lamp which does have a sticker mark just there and some plastic uh, drawers no markings or cracks to these shelving please note that there is some peeling to um, the bottom sort of first from the top there um, but no real marks to the sides or anywhere else a few sticker marks in this corner and in this corner but otherwise in a great condition and finally a full length mirror has been provided by the landlord as you can see there's some slight um, paint marks to the right here so bear that in mind but that's it for bedroom number one so we come on through just next door we have bedroom number two just here so bedroom number two focusing on the carpet we can see once again it's quite raised no tearing though and no markings in a good clean condition I think I'll focus on your mattress and bed first so uh, in bedroom number two we can see the slats are in good condition and looking at your mattress there are some minor markings as you can see at the top there very small but nothing major no tears or major staining if I turn this over now you can see the top of your mattress is in a great condition I'm just going to close these blinds I think the camera's struggling a little bit there we go no markings to the um, to the mattress and looking at the wall just near your bed there is a uh, minor mark just up here if we can get it to focus so a minor mark there and then one to the right of it there so a few little things on the walls the other walls though are in great condition with no markings just a little uh, screw sticking out there, so I can get it to focus. There we go. In great condition. Your uh, storage space, we can see that there is no peeling or marking or staining to this uh, unit, neither to the side. And your desk is in good condition. There are some minor marks, as you can see, some little chips in the paint, and obviously paints worn away near the edge here. Your study chair in this room is a plastic one. You can see there is a clear uh, crack to the plastic, the backboard there. But the landlord has provided you a, uh, a red cushion to sit on for your comfort. Just tuck that back in. Uh, coming over to your wardrobe, I think you can see just here a little uh, white mark to the wardrobe door and opening this up you can see that there is no marks to the inside and your drawers here are in great condition with no cracks to the drawers although your bottom drawer is missing end table just here if we open these drawers up, you can see, nice and clean, with no damage to the drawers, nor to the top, or to the sides. And I'm going to briefly open this to show you that your window is operational, and I'll just close it, like so. Okay, moving through to room 2's ensuite, as you notice room 1 doesn't have one, uh, but room 2 does. Uh, so focusing on the floor, there is a very minor marking just there in the corner. That might not even be marking, I think it might be paint. So no tears of the floor though, or staining. And uh, looking at the uh, at the walls, you can see there's no major marks. So any of the walls. Get it to focus.
completely fine. Your sink, you can see a few little marks around the um, around the drain, but otherwise in great condition. There's no chips to the basin or to the bottom. And the same goes for your toilet. No chips. In a good condition. Maybe very uh, just a little minor mark there on the tile. And again with your bath, good condition. The shower screen has been cleaned and everything is up to standard. I'll just show you in here. You have your storage space. As you can see, there is some uh, clear rusting from where it's gotten uh, moist. So bear that in mind. And with that, we're gonna move on to uh, the shared bathroom. So coming out of bedroom two, if we walk down the hallway, the right would be the entrance, and to the left we have the shared bathroom. Although of course, this is probably primarily for bedroom number one, as they don't have an ensuite. Um, but looking at the floor, you can see there's no marking to the floor whatsoever. Go behind the door. Great condition. Uh, back of the door, it's looking very good. No chips or marks at all. And focusing on the walls, we can see once again, no marks to the walls whatsoever. There we go. Okay. Looking at your sink, we can see there is a chip there to the sink spacing. If I can get its focus. And to the tile just here by the tap. But otherwise, good condition. Same goes for your toilet. And for the shower, no damage. And professionally clean to both. Uh, both doors. Okay, so moving on through to your kitchen. If we come to the left here, let's go through this door. It's focusing on the floor. You can see there are no marks of the floor. No cracks or stains. Although it may be worth closing this blind. So the camera seems to be struggling. Oh, never mind, I can't do it one handed. So, just over here in this corner uh, would be your sofa. Um, the landlord decided that it was time to get you a new sofa, it was looking a little bit worn. Um, so, this will be delivered, I think, on either the 1st or the 2nd of August. So, there will be a sofa here. Um, but for now, obviously we haven't got one. Um, on the wall behind where the sofa will be, we see uh, quite a, a large gash or scratch mark and a few just little dots here and there. And same on this wall from where the previous sofa was. Some minor little marks here and there. But otherwise the walls are in a great condition with no serious markings or staining, pretty good. Okay, so going from the left and moving to the right, we have a little white coffee table. As you can see, the top is chipped. There are chips of this, and some light marking to the shelving. And then to the right, get this to focus, we have a, sort of a wooden shelving with no damage. And then, um, plastic chest of drawers just up there with no cracks to the uh, the front of them. Looking inside your microwave, it's been professionally cleaned and there's no damage to that, nor to the side. And quickly looking at the surface of the kitchen, you can see there are zero marks to the kitchen counter. Your bin is located just here. Um, and your washing machine tray has been professionally cleaned, as has the inside. Just close it up. Just there. Your sink has no scratches. Well, very minor scratches, but nothing, uh, nothing major. 
And here is your underneath storage under the sink. I will just note that your left um, cupboard door does have a little chip in it just there. Okay, looking at the oven, you can see that this, the uh, door has been cleaned professionally, as has the inside, just here. The hob has been professionally cleaned, as has the extractor fan, and the underneath. And you have just a kettle and a toaster here, uh, left by the landlord. Your fire blanket is located just to the right here. Uh, that's to be used in emergencies only, please don't fiddle with them. And just to note, you have a, light, uh, a slight chip to the um, cupboard um, shelving just there. And light scratch into the door. Your dining room table, you can see there's a sort of light mark, it might be a bleach mark, um, but no major scratching. A few little other marks just here. And your chairs. Once again, the landlord has provided um, cushions to sit on. Just here. And look at this one here. I'm going to pull this up so we can see the third one. Finally, with the fridge, you can see there's some slight indentations to the side of the fridge. And the sticker to the left is slightly torn at the bottom. And just some light markings to the freezer door there. There is a small crack to the bottom shelf of the fridge door, but the other two are in good condition. Same goes for the um, bottom drawer, good condition, and no damage to the sh um, freezer shelves or the drawers. So that's it for flat 262 Bar Street. Uh, all that leaves us to say is we hope you enjoy your time with Belvoir. Um, and good luck with your studies. Take care.